happening guys, this is Bharat Nagpal for in and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a quick look at the new Nokia Asha 308. Now this is a phone that was recently launched and uh, it's priced at about 5,576 rupees or about uh, 100 US dollars and uh, it comes with some interesting features including a 3 inch touchscreen. it has a 2 megapixel camera, now it is dual sim. Uh, so that's good and it does have uh, features like FM and your standard Android features but the, uh, the great thing is uh, that it does come with great travel vouchers worth 4500 rupees not 45,000 so it comes with a yatra.com travel voucher uh, you need to scratch this to get that voucher so that's good so ensure that your uh, packaging has the voucher so that uh, your vendor is not trying to rip you off and ensure that you get this scratch card. Now I'm going to quickly cut through the seal of the box and I'm going to quickly go in without wasting any time. So for the first thing you get is a, a nice uh, Nokia Asha booklet which says that it comes with 45 lakh songs. So your Nokia music service is listed on here. You of course get the Nokia Asha 308. I'm going to put that aside for the time being. I'm going to go further in. Inside the box you will get a standard Nokia style hands-free kit. It does have a 3.5mm headphone jack which is nice, it's just angled at 90 degrees. Uh, you have your standard ear tips, uh, nothing special over there and you have your standard Nokia push button along with a inline microphone and a lapel clip. So that's your hands-free kit. You also get the standard Nokia charger, pin style charger. Also inside the box is the battery, it's the BL4U battery, so it is a 1110 milliamp hour battery, 1110 mAh. Uh, you get your Nokia Life Tools booklet, your Asha 308 warranty card. So that's everything from the box, let's take a quick look at the device itself. So this is the Nokia Asha 308, on the front over here you'll see uh, the earpiece along with the Nokia logo. You also have a 3 inch uh, touch screen over here, which is most probably resistive. You also have a send and end call button along with a microphone pin hole which is at the bottom just above the chin of the device. If I look at the right hand side of the device, we have the lock and unlock button over here along with the volume rockers. Uh, you also have a hole to pull out the back cover. On the top over here is the 3.5mm headphone jack and the micro USB port for charging data syncing. Now the micro USB cable is not included but you can use any micro USB cable. Uh, you also have the standard Nokia charging hole. On the right over here you have the SIM 2 slot which is a hot swappable SIM slot so you can change your SIM even when your phone is on and you also have the micro SD card slot which is also hot swappable so you can change your micro SD card even though the phone is on. On the side over here also is a uh, lanyard connection point and on the back you will see a 2 megapixel camera. You can see that it, this phone meets all SAR requirements for India and you also have the loudspeaker over here. If I pull out the back panel. Uh, you will see the SIM 1 slot and uh, the battery compartment so let me quickly put in the battery and power on the device. Now the phone does have 20 megabyte of storage inbuilt. The micro SD card does support up to 32 gigabyte and uh, in terms of memory, in terms of RAM we have 64 megabyte of RAM and 128 megabyte of ROM. So uh, let's quickly go through this setup. I think I'm done here. I'll just go through and uh, quickly show you the interface. So uh, this is my home screen, if I scroll right you can see my app screen, if I scroll to the bottom over here you can see the ton of apps that are installed, so we have Need for Speed, we have The Sims 3, Solitaire, Worms 2, all EA games, again don't expect them to be high graphic games, they are just Java based games, uh, but you do have Facebook, Twitter installed, you have Nokia Music pre-installed, uh, you have something, uh, uh, you also have a UTV application, a Taza application, mobile design, uh, Nimbus is pre-installed, so ton of apps uh, that come pre-installed to uh, lure the customer. Uh, you also have the EA store, so games, gifts, or a couple of games by EA. Nokia Maps is also there, which is nice. You also get turn-by-turn -turn directions. If you scroll to the left, you gain your home screen. You can populate this, move apps around uh, to simply remove or add apps. So if I can quickly tap this, and I think I need to just hold it and move it around. Now you can add a shortcut or a contact to your home screen as well. That's nice, quickly get out of that and on your right again is your customizable screen. Uh, to customize this I believe you can hold this down and you get into the customization screen and you can choose dial-up music or radio for example if I want FM radio 
I can change my featured page to a radio instead of a dialer. So if you don't make too many phone calls, you can use the phone app to go to the phone app and uh, you can use your favorites as a dialer. Pull down from the top, you have a notification panel sort of interface. You can turn on mobile networks, Bluetooth and uh, profiles so you can mute or unmute sound. Uh, you can also look at your network information on the top over here so you can choose which sim card you can choose always ask or pick a choice of sim card which one to use to make calls you can also quickly play call or write a message from the notification panel as well so there you go guys this was a quick look at the new Nokia Asha 308 we'll be back with a full review really really soon so stay tuned for that uh, the phone overall seems really nicely built it, it's at par with Nokia build quality and uh, we'll, we'll try and test it out we'll try and run the internet browser and try and test it out on the basic things the phone costs about 5500 rupees and we'll be back with the full review shortly you can check out the details on igan.in and uh, you can also check us out on facebook twitter google plus uh, do subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com slash igan youtube.com slash igan tv for igan networks you can very much thank you guys for watching